hello friends see this is the third part of, part of your uh, video for the sampling methods that is advanced bank management module b business mathematics see this is the 12th problem which is unsolved problem in your macmillan book see the example what the are saying in normal distribution with the mean 56 when there is normal distribution with means with mean that means it is a mean of a sam mean of your population so mu is given 56 and standard deviation is given 21 how large a sample must be taken so that there will be at least 90 percent chances that it it mean is greater than 52 so this is reverse example which we have studied in the previous videos so friends here probability is given and we have to find sample size see mu is given 56 delta is given 21 that is your standard deviation what for what n probability which is 90 percent we have to calculate such a in such a way that your mean of your sample lies in the area it should be greater than 52 so here see here 90 percent chances means 90 percent that is 90 upon 100 that is 0 0.5 of its total distribution right 0 0.9 is your total distribution see friends i have already told how it is normal normal distribution it is in last video if you have gone through then it is normal distribution it is symmetrical to your vertical line that value is 0 0.5 and that is value is also 0 0.5 half half portion right so the value they have given the mean see very first we have drawn a normal distribution the value of mean they have given is 56 right now they are asking it should be greater than 52 suppose a 52 line lies here it should be left side of 56 right suppose this 52 they are asking it should be greater than 52 that means we have to find the uh, value which is lies right side of 52 it should be greater than 52 so that portion we have to worry about see friends that value for red will be 0 0.9 minus 0 0.5 how see here this total value they have given how much they have given it is 0 0.9 the total value they have given is 0 0.9 that means there are 90 percent chances that uh, in such a way that it should be greater than 52 that is already mentioned so from 52 onwards the value is totally 0 0.9 it is nothing worry nothing worry just see here it is directly written in your example so value for the portion which is greater than 52 is 0 0.9 and we know value for the half portion it is always 0 0.5 so uh, value for the red marked portion value for the red shaded portion will be that 0 0.9 minus 0 0.5 that will give 0 0.04 right so we have to find z for what value of z that that the, in a z table there is 0 0.4 so we have to find that is reverse value right how to find it see we have to calculate z the 0 0.4 means 0 0.44 right so for well what is the value of z for 0 0.4000 so see friends here uh, 3.9 3.9 here you got see here see here right see uh, what is here it is uh, 0 0.15 0. 0. 0.40 we want 0 0.4 so we can take this or we can take this 0 0.4 right so corresponding value of z for the same is see here 1.9 1.2 and uh, last digit is 9 so 1.29 is value of z so from that value we got value of z for 0 0.4 is 1.29 in in this case we have to find in uh, reverse order we have to work in the reverse order so value for 0 0.4 in the z table is 1.29 so uh, again come to our back what is formula in the last videos we have studied z is equal to x bar minus mu upon sigma x here we know what we know sigma x nothing but your sigma upon under root of n you can call sigma or delta doesn't mean it right so your delta upon under root of n is nothing but your delta x so put the value of delta x then uh, we have to calculate n so when n is in denominator it will go in numerator so z will is equal to x bar minus mu upon delta into under root of n so we have to find n so bring n at a one side so n will equal to delta into z 
divided by that will go in the left side it will get divided so x bar minus mu so under root of n is equal to z into delta divided by x bar minus mu so what is value of z that we have already calculated value of z is 1.29 that is z factor we have calculated reversely not here when you have to calculate sample size you have to go in a reverse order so 1.29 we have calculated the uh, sigma it is 21 that is directly given here see sigma that is delta is 21 and x bar is given 52 x bar is given 52 and mean is given minus mu mean is given 56 so put the value you will get 27.09 divided by 52 minus 46 you will give minus sign you have to ignore minus sign you will get 6.77 is equal to under root of n so to remove under root sign you have to square both the side after squaring you will get 45.83 45.83 when you get 44 uh, 45.83 uh, after squaring that means that when your sample is greater than 46 your desired result is that uh, chances of 90% probability and uh, mean of your sample is 52 so we have calculated sample size here that sample should be greater than 46 so friends this is the 12th example now we will move to the next example see in 30 in 13th example what we want to see what we are actually going to see see the example in the normal distribution with the mean 375 in the normal distribution with the mean 375 and standard deviation is 48 how large a sample must be taken so that so that there will be at least 0.95 that sample mean falls between 370 to 380 very first when the this type of numerical came in your examination just write down what you have given what you have given in your examination uh, what is given in your numerical just focus on that see here mean 375 that we know mean means mu that is 375 it is given right so what is delta standard deviation 48 it is given standard deviation is 48 then how large is sample that means sample size n we have to find then what is the p p is given 0.92 0.95 sorry p is given 0.95 and for x bar sample mean means x bar 370 and 380 we have to calculate the sample should lie between 370 to 380 see here when you draw a normal graph of a normal distribution and this is center line which is mean is 375 it is already given right so and a range is 370 to 380 so we got clear a normal distribution for whole 370 to 380 they have given the value of probability is 0.95 that is 95% now sorry here see p is 0.95% ye this is the value of the total shaded region right and this is similar to both uh, vertical line because 375 is 5 greater than 70 and 3 it is uh, also 5 greater than 375 that means this is symmetrical so we can divide this by 2 to find the uh, value of individual region so divide by 2 you will get 0.475 0.475 so we have to find from z table value of z score value of z from the score 0.475 so to find that use the table 0.475 we have to find see friends 0.475 we have to find in this uh, total table so 0.4 so uh, you see here uh, 0.4 what we want is 0.47 so 0.47 is here we have to calculate 0.475 so value here is 0.475 so we got value 0.475 in where z is 1.96 where 1.9 and in vertical it is 6 so we got value of z 0.4750 for 1.96 so take z as a 1.96 it is from table we have derived don't worry right so already we know the formula z score is equal to x bar minus mu upon sigma x lot of time we use that formula right so sigma x is nothing but your sigma upon under root of n so uh, that numerator that n is at you know, uh, denominator it will go in the numerator 
so to calculate n put uh, get it uh, n at a uh, one side so under root of n is equal to z score into sigma divided by x bar minus mu just rearrange the equation just rearrange the equation after rearranging because we have to find the n so put the value what is z we have calculated 1.96 what is sigma what is uh, sigma it is already given 48 put value 48 then what is x bar what is x bar x bar is put one value 370 and what is the mean mu is a 375 so after solving that 1.96 into 48 divided by 5 because 370 minus 375 is 5 so we will get 18.81 so to find the value of n to find the value of n we have to square it both the side because it is the value of under root of n so you have to square so you will get n as a 353.81 that means your sample size should be greater than 354 and that is your answer so friends in this type you have to solve this type of numerical you have to use reverse z here so in the next example this is your last example of your uh, unsolved macmillan book so friends see here 14th example the average cost of a flat average this is a practical example friends average cost of a flat at poi lake poi that is a place in mumbai <laughs> the average cost of a flat at a poi lake is 62 lakh and standard deviation is 4.2 lakh what is the probability that a flat at this location will cost at least 65 lakh very very important example see friends First, what is given data? The average cost of a flat at a Powell Lake is 62. When there is average, that means mean is given. Mean is 62. And the standard deviation is 4.2 lakh. That means delta is 4.2. What is the probability that a flat, a flat, when they are mentioning a flat, that means a is used for single entity, that means value of n is 1. Value of n is 1. And at this location, that will cost at least 65 percent that means x bar is given 65 right so we know in the very first step what we calculate sigma x is sigma upon under root of n right what is sigma for uh, it is a sigma is given 4.2 that is your delta deviation 4.2 divided by under root of 1 is 1 so your delta x will come 4.22 now second step we calculate z what is z x bar minus mu upon delta x what is x bar it is given here 65 for what you are calculating z factor 65 minus 62 that will give you a 3 divided by 4.2 that is your sigma x so z you will uh, it will come 0 0.7142 0 0.7142 see friends uh, we have to calculate value for 0 0.712 0.71 we have to find the value so from z table you can find value for 0.71 so for 0.71 the value will be see 0.7 and the digit we want is 1 so 0.71 value is 2611 see here value is 2611 right for 0.7 value is 2611 right so we have taken this value 0 0.71 0 0.2611 from z table now see here see uh, this is your normal distribution curve this is your mean 62 which is already given here this is the value of 65 it is right side of 62 you can imagine anywhere uh, but it should be right side right and uh, what they have given that the price should be at least 65 at least means what minimum 65 and more than any value of 65 that means we have to find that red shaded portion that should be greater than 65 that portion we have to find so we know when the distribution is normal that that value will be 0 0.5 and the remaining value will be 0 0.5 right? because this is a mean right that is value 0 0.5 and that value will be 0 0.5 so to find we have to find the probability that cost will at least 65 lakhs so to find this is total value of 0 0.5 and we have calculated z factor that is 0 0.261 that we have calculated this 0 0.71 this is the value we have calculated deviation 
right what what we are calculating from z score what is calculating for uh, cal we are calculating the deviation we are calculating the deviation see here we have calculated deviation De deviation is 0 0.261 what is the deviation how that de uh, it deviates from its mean right that means we have calculated the value of deviation that is for 65 the region the, that i am marking here that value we have calculated how that value of z deviates from its mean that value is 65 for 65 that shaded uh, the portion marked by a pencil that we have calculated now we have that total value of 0 0.5 we have to find the value which is marked by a red color so 0 0.5 minus the value marked by a pencil color right see here see 0 0.5 minus 0 0.261 that is value we have calculated using z factor so minus this you will get 0 0.2389 0 0.2389 that is the required answer that is a red mark area so that the flight at least have 65 lakh price and more uh, more than 65 right at least 65 means 65 and more any value than 65 so friends you will get answer as a 23.89 percent is the probability that flat will cost more than 65 lakh so friends this is the video for your example which is unsolved in the mac Mineral book so friends thank you for watching the video and if you like video please subscribe share to all your friends so that they will be benefited thank you friends